Hey everyone, I am going to try and do this super quick and I'm going to try and kind of be quiet because the babies are sleeping. So, and last time, if you watched my previous video, they woke up right when I started taping. So, um, you might hear some noises because I think they're dreaming. Um, I wanted to get on here and do some breastfeeding, um, pumping essentials. So, um, I stopped breastfeeding two weeks ago and I've been exclusively pumping. Um, before that I was nursing, pumping, and formula. And now I'm just exclusively pumping and doing formula and possibly attempting starting tonight to try and nurse again. Um, I'm feeling optimistic about it and I want to give it another shot since it didn't work out the first time. But for the past two weeks, these things have been huge essentials for me and I wanted to share them with all of you. Even if you are pumping part-time, um, I think these are huge um, things that I found useful for me. Um, the pump I use is a Medela Advanced. Um, it comes in the big backpack thing. My insurance covered it. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, I got extra tubing and parts um, either from Target or Amazon. Uh, after I got home, I ordered what I thought I would need, and I've been pretty good. Um, I do sanitize a lot since I'm washing bottles a lot anyways, so I just wash the shields and everything while I'm at it. Oh, so some of the things that I can't live without um, are definitely are the lanolin stuff. It's the stuff you put on your nipples. Um, I, at first I was using a different brand, but I ended up using, or I bought a different brand beforehand. I used Medela while I was in the hospital, and I loved the Medela one, so I used that one instead. Um, I've also heard that you can use like coconut oil and all that, which I eventually will definitely use coconut oil. I used coconut oil throughout my entire pregnancy um, on my stomach, and although it did not prevent stretch marks, I feel like it helped um, with um, like, I don't know, my elast elasticity, I guess. And even my doctor said that my scar healed amazing, and she thinks it has to do with how well my skin was throughout the pregnancy. So I definitely credit the coconut oil for that, but I can't live without that stuff. Um, I also can't live without nursing pads. I get disposable ones. Um, I get the big box of 60. It's like, what is it, Lancio? I'm like trying to look. Um, I get a big box of 60. Um, I think you can get them. I got three boxes um, together on Amazon so I go through a lot of those because I'm constantly changing them because I pump between every two to three hours throughout the day and I've been extending my nighttime a little bit longer sometimes four to five hours um, now that they're sleeping a little bit longer I'm trying to sleep a little bit longer too because sleep makes everyone happy I also can't live without um, heating pads um, I actually bought the ones you can do hot and cold and I've used those here and there. I need to use them more often. Um, definitely helps with milk flow and helps um, when you're in gorge for pain. I also can't live without mother's milk tea. Um, that has been helping my milk supply. So I drink one to two cups of that a day. And also um, oatmeal I found increased my supply big time. I made oatmeal scotchies and um, they're like these oatmeal cookies. And uh, that definitely helped. Also increasing your water. So water is a free supply, but definitely always have water on hand and make sure you're drinking enough. Oh my, I'm trying to think of what else I use. Um, with the pump, I got um, a charger for the wall and I also got a battery pack. But I also went to Target and I bought a car adapter because I tend to pump in the car a lot during the weekends. So that was huge because the battery pack does not have a lot of power so it's not you have to like crank it and it's still not really like good section so um, when it runs off your car you have to like put it all the way down because it's so much power so I bought that and that's been super 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 helpful but I carry all three with me just in case um, like yesterday I had a pump in the um, OB's office and I had to use my battery pack so that was super super helpful. Um, another thing that's been helpful for me, um, although I feel like I need to invest in something else or talk to the doctor, is I've had thrush and I've been using an antifungal, which is sounds so weird, but um, 
there's also a whole bunch of other things that you can use to help get rid of it. Um, but that is kind of helping a little bit. So I always have that on hand in case I do get thrush back or it gets worse or whatever. Uh, the other, I don't have enough milk to freeze. So I have all these storage bags that I can't use, which stinks. But um, I do use bottles and we refrigerate what I don't use. Um, so if I feed them formula and I pump, I put that right in the fridge and we'll use that for in the next feeding. So I was using the Medela bottles and I got Amida bottles. I only got two from the hospital. And then I found out on one of the sites I'm on that um, Walmart brand, Parents Choice, also Gerber and, and Ev Evanflow, um, all of their bottles fit Medela pump parts. So I went and I bought three, I think it's three five ounce and three nine ounce. Um, that's what the package is for the parent cho parents choice. And they're like two ninety seven a package. So I bought like three packages of the five ounce and two packages of the nine ounces. Cause we tend to make the formula in the nine ounce and then, um, I can pump enough each session for the two of them. So, um, I just use the two smaller bottles because they're drinking between three and four ounces right now. So that was a huge savings to find out that those um, actually fit the pump versus, or the pump parts versus, excuse me, having to buy Medela bottles because they're so expensive. <laughs> they're so expensive. Um, since I'm also pumping, I'll talk about the bottles I use for the babies because I went with what I thought was the better brand um, and bought Avent and um, Tommy Tippies before they were born. And quickly using the Tommy Tippies, we realized that they were not working and they were sucking it down and causing them to spit up more and be a little bit colicky. Um, not bad, but we just knew that they were taking in more than they needed so or at a faster rate than they needed to so um my mom actually said she sat me down she's like listen playtex has been around forever and you should just use it that's what i used so of course when we were younger my mom used the playtex with the drop-ins which they still make but now they came out with the vent air and i bought those and i bought one package of three and gave it a shot and they their feedings took longer which means they were taking it at a slower rate they seemed fuller faster um meaning that before they would drink all this and still think they're hungry but their brain didn't register that they were actually full because they drank so fast so we only use the playtex um vent air for feedings now that's all they get so we're constantly doing bottles because they only have nine bottles yeah I think I might have 12 no I think I have nine I have nine bottles I have nine bottles and they feed eight to nine bottles a day each so we at least have to do dishes one to two times a day um, to wash the bottles so, but those have been a lifesaver for them, and I think they do well with them. I love those bottles. Um, you know, I have all these other bottles now that I don't think that I will end up using. Um, maybe possibly when they get a little bit older, but right now, these bottles work for them, and they're helping with, you know, getting what they need in at the rate that they should be taking it in, as if they were nursing. <sighs> so, yeah. Um... As far as breastfeeding goes, some of the essentials that at the beginning that were super helpful for me were nipple shields. Um, you know, I woke up, so I had them on Wednesday and Sunday, this is the day we went home, but Sunday I woke up and my boobs were like five sizes bigger than they were the day before. They were super hard as rocks. I didn't realize that that's the sign that your milk comes in. So I was super engorged, and so the nipple shield helped them um, latch once I was engorged, and um, I will continue to use the nipple shield when I start, if I start to breastfeed again until I can get them to latch. Um, without it, I don't know if I will be able to because I have my own issues, um, but I know a nipple shield is also very helpful if you have like cracked or raw nipples and you just need a break. Um, 
you know, it creates, you know, a little bit more comfort for you while you're nursing. So that was a huge um, help when I was breastfeeding. Also with twins, the twin nursing pillow is super helpful if you want to tandem feed. Um, other than that, I just use pillows all the time. Um, it's kind of still what we do. Even I use a bottle, I, you know, have pillows all over me. And I hold them close to me while I'm feeding them just to um, give them that sense of what you get when you're nursing. Um, but the twin nursing pillow was a huge help while I was in the hospital because I was tandem feeding a lot in the hospital because I had so many people helping me. But when I got home, it was just so frustrating. I couldn't do it. So, um, also again, heat and ice packs were great while I was breastfeeding, um, just to heat up a little bit afterwards. Or if I was, um, you know, sore, the ice helped, um, another kind of, as far as pain goes, um, I did take ibuprofen when it was super painful and um, I had a clogged duct, clogged duct um, last week from pumping and I knew I had to get it out before it turned into mastitis. I really thought it was mastitis. It hurt so bad. So I was trying to pump as much as I could and massage it out and um, heat and, or was heat, yeah, heat and ibuprofen and within like a half a day I had, the pain was gone and I had the lump out so I definitely think the ibuprofen helped with the pain so that I could get through the pumping um, also hot showers are also a great um, easy cheap thing to do if you ever have a clogged duct or mastitis or um, you're engorged and you just need to get some out before you feed them um, so yeah, those are some of my essentials. I mentioned a few of the foods that have helped my supply. Um, my supply was really low at the beginning. It still is kind of low for where I am being six weeks out. But things that have helped increase it are increase of water, increase of protein, eating oatmeal, drinking mother's milk tea. I did take fenugreek and it did help at the beginning and then it, it stopped. And I've heard that fenugreek um, doesn't work with hypothyroidism and I just got my labs back and I am borderline Hashimoto's still. So, um, I stopped taking the fenugreek. Also just taking your prenatal and staying on top of that. Um, I've heard like, you know, other random stuff. Um, I've heard that, uh, Wendy's Frosties, um, also Ovaltine, Gatorade, um, and like smart water. So I am going to try the Ovaltine, I think. Um, it has to be the malt one, but I've heard great great results with that. So, um, I definitely also think massaging while I'm pumping has been a huge help with my increase in milk because I'm getting it out. Um, and also leaning forward, um, just gravity works its way, um, versus sitting straight back or trying to lean back. Obviously it doesn't leak down. So those are just some of my essentials that I've used for breastfeeding, for pumping, um, for feeding the babies. Um, just some of the things that worked for us. I, If you have any questions, um, leave them below and I can try and answer. I'm in no way, shape, or form a doctor. These are just some of the things that worked for us in our journey um, as we feed these two little babies. Uh, so if you have any questions, you know, comment below, give a thumbs up if you like the video, and I'll see you guys soon.